first and foremost, we want to uh, extend our condolences and sympathy for all those people, family members involved in the tragedy today. Through a Broward Health System, we received 17 patients. At Broward Health North, we received eight patients and one suspect. <clears throat> the suspect was treated and released in police custody. Of our eight patients, we had two mortalities, three in critical condition, and three are stable. Are these all gunshot victims? <clears throat> yes, they are. They're all gunshot victims. What was it like inside as these patients were coming here after the shooting? Sure. So um, we work very closely with our pre-hospital personnel, fire rescue, on scene, in conjunction with Broward Sheriff Office, pre-hospital communicates information to us. <clears throat> we routinely run drills at our institution to be ready for instances like this. <clears throat> so we have a process in place that gets initiated. So there's calm, collected care that our patients receive. Fortunately for everybody, we were located very close to the high school where this uh, shooting happened. So fortunately for everybody, they brought these patients to our hospital and we were able to do a great job to, to do the right thing. They have to go to the nearest trauma facility and we were the nearest trauma facility. Is this the biggest mass casualty you can remember? For our anymore? hospital, yes. Are any of them still in surgery? Is it, the surgeries go on after the incident? We still have three patients in the operating rooms right now. And they're, they're in stable go? condition. Did all of them undergo some kind of surgery? No. Well, I mean, I prefer not to comment on a specific patient's uh, demeanor, <clears throat> but, you know, as a human being, you could imagine um, that they would uh, <clears throat> uh, shock. Be, be in shock or, you know, be emotional about the, the, the whole situation. Can you, can you walk through what's next for these patients, specifically the three in critical, three in stable and their families in terms of services? I understand chaplains are now here. <clears throat> they're going to have successful surgeries, they're going to recover, and they're going to go home. Thank you. Thank you. Many doctors Thank you. Are